USB-F, an affordable and effective system with over 150 already in use. The beauty of the USBF is the modular and flexible design, which allows owners to stage development and ensure that plants can be quickly expanded if and when growth demands, drastically reducing immediate capital costs, both concerns for an expanding Ski Hill community. The compact design, minimal amount of moving parts, and self-regulating hydraulics result in a reduced supervision requirement, contributing to lower operating and maintenance costs. This is a result of the unique and efficient shape of the sludge blanket filter, which facilitates superior self-regulating hydraulic flexibility. The process easily accommodates high peak flows and flow swings in a self-regulating manner. The higher the flow, the higher the sludge blanket rises and the larger the filtration area becomes, meeting the single greatest requirement, population fluctuation of a small town. The resort's growth required a number of upgrades and expansions. In 2001, a forced sludge blanket filter was added, and in 2002, a sludge dewatering centrifuge was installed. However, the flows kept going up. From 2001, a summer flow of 35 cubic meters, and a 2007 high of 1,400, between 03 and 08, three additional modules were added just to keep pace, with more planned in the future as the community continues to expand. In Sun Peaks, the EcoFluid USBF system's efficiency and adaptability are a necessity. The lack of odor, low operational costs, and small footprint all make EcoFluid USBF ideal for smaller restricted and varied projects of almost any size and requirement. Ozone is drawn in through a venturi, as you can see here, with small bubbles. As the bubbles go vertically to the top, they hit a elbow, and then what they cause, double bubbles. As you see, the bubbles have thinned out and got bigger as they go horizontally. Most all pipes in your plant will be horizontally, and as the gas and water travel through the horizontal pipes, you see the gas bubbles come out of solution and the bubbles get bigger. As they go to their destination, which could be several hundred feet away or even closer, the gas would uh, cause to come out of solution bubbling into the atmosphere, which we do not want. We want it to stay in the water when using it and apply the water to the product that you want to treat or uh, the uh, solution that the ozone should be uh, killing the bacteria. The lower pipe that you see there is uh, our system, the top one being the competition, and we're going through a venturi, the same as the top one, only then going through a ozone vortex mixing system as you see here several plexiglass tubes in there and as you see the top one still got bubbles and the the lower one has the microscopic bubbles you see it coming out looking like um, fog or dust coming out of there those are microscopic ozone gas bubbles the top one has been shut off now so you can just see the bottom one as you see as the water is circulating the gas stays in the water longer than our competition and does a better job. Now when you spray that on your product or your equipment, you're gassing it at the same time that you are uh, ozonating it. The water is used to transfer the gas bubbles to the product or equipment that you're wanting to treat. As you see here, it's uh, clouding up even more so for a large tank, over 250 gallon tank here. The microscopic ozone gas bubbles are so fine that they make the water look like milk. <laughs> 